So we're here, Quiet Place 2, finally. To say that I'm excited for this is an understatement. I have been anticipating this movie since the news dropped back in 2019 that they was making a sequel. Now, flash forward to 2020, March of 2020, right before COVID hit and shit, this is when this movie was supposed to come out. It gets pushed back, gets pushed back, gets pushed back, all the way till fall of this year. Then there was a slot that opened up this weekend and they like, yep, yeah, let's move up. And I'm so pumped. I've been waiting for this. It's one of my most anticipated movies over the past two years, past year. Um, and let's get it. Her, her. Just getting out. Quiet Place Part 2. I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was thrilling. It was well acted. I liked the characters a lot. Um, not not too sure if I like it better than the first one, but that's no feat because the first one's great. I recommend this. I'm going to talk more about this here coming up, so stay tuned. So, Quiet Place Part 2. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm extremely satisfied. It wasn't disappointing. Normally, I mean, sequels are hit or miss. They are hit or miss. In this one, I can safely say 110% with full-on confidence. For me, this was a hit. Now, it's not perfect. It has some pacing issues. There are some things that are that happen in this movie that could have used some more backstory, or I would have liked some more backstory rather. Um, but yeah, once again, it's the same family: Emily Blunt, the two kids, and the brand newborn. Um, it's pretty much them on their journey of surviving this world now with these monster aliens that, you know, kill on sound, right? Um, and it starts off there. Well, it starts off with day one. So we see like, yo, how this shit all gets started and how it all happens. So that was, that was interesting. And then we get to where our character is present. We are. And, our family is leaving their compound from the first movie because they just can't live there anymore. I mean, if you've seen the first one, the shit went to hell, man. <laughs> shit went to hell. Uh, John Krasinski's husband slash dad character, he gone. So, yeah, they got to pack shit up and leave. They see a neighboring compound that's still, like, lighting the fire up on the roof, letting people know, like, yeah, we still here. So they go to that compound which is a new character played by Killian Murphy which I love that dude by the way and you know he's living there he's desperate he also doesn't want them here because there's limited rations and just I mean who wants like like three other people during this and a brand new baby during this time to be like living with nigga that's just asking to die right so yeah, so they eventually get there, and then they hear this. They hear on the radio a signal, which sounds like it could be coming from like a safe spot. And the daughter's very curious about that, so she sets off to try and find this place and try and save everyone. Right, and that's our that's our movie. There, I'm not gonna get into it too much because. Like me, I want everyone to be pretty fresh and clean going in. No, I mean, not too much expectations or like knowing too much about the story here because there are some nice story beats that I didn't see coming at all. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I really liked it. I think if you like the first one, you would like this one, too. I still like the first one a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more co coherent. But this was a quality sequel. It's not often you can say that. It's a fun time at the theater. It's a good experience, and I recommend it. Arr, arr, arr. Uh, dude, I have to say this, too. I have to say this. I cannot forget this. John Krasinski, <laughs> this nigga has a problem with hurting niggas' feet. I, I know, I'm not sure why, but in the first one, there was that nail. Right, that Emily Blunt's character step on Jan right up in the fucking foot. Ouch, ouchie. In this one, at the, I mean, like more towards the beginning, like the first twenty minutes, the the younger son, this motherfucker, he he falls into this trap with his foot. 
Oh my God. I screamed out loud. Like I screamed out loud because it looked so painful. Man, John Krasinski got to stop fucking with his actor's feet because he got a problem with fucking these shits up. But, ugh, that shit was nasty. You'll know what part that I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. But that, ooh, that's what really, like, okay, I'm ready now. <laughs>